Um, hi, I'm Rob Stevens. I'm a market manager here at uh, Metla Toledo Safeline, um, and I'm also involved in the EDI, that's equity, diversity, and inclusion work that we do here um, at Safeline. Um, over the years, I've suffered with depression, uh, mild to moderate depression. Um, in uh, I've had a few different episodes. Uh, now, I'd like to think that it's pretty well managed. Uh, it's a, a funny story, actually. It was my boyfriend at the time. It was about 20 years ago, I think. Um, and it was actually uh, my boyfriend who um, said to me, he'd asked me if I was... Um, okay because um, I'd started um, being well he said I was being very slow and functioning very slowly and, and doing things very very slowly and he said I, I, I just seem to be a bit vacant and distant um, and it was only then that I really realized that something was wrong um, what had started happening is that I I sort of look at these issues now um, I'd stopped opening my mail at home um, and I'd stopped um, emptying the dishwasher and my house was getting a little bit messy um, and I realised that I was finding it really difficult to sort of function doing normal things. Um, it's really, really common for people to notice depression before you do. So it's, it's very common for someone else to tell you that there may be something wrong. And that's exactly what happened to me. I actually uh, went to my doctor, my family doctor, um, who gave me a questionnaire, which is a very normal way of diagnosing depression. And she was great. She said, um, actually, yeah, it is mild to moderate depression that you've got. And uh, then we had um, a very open discussion about what sort of treatments would be best and what sort of things that um, I'd like to try. And, you know, whether it's, you know, sometimes it's nothing and sometimes there's, there's lots of options, obviously. Um, so initially I had um, some psychotherapy, which is uh, uh, it's called CBT, uh, stands for Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, um, and that worked fantastically. It was like, um, you know, a new, it gave me a new lease of life. Um, so yeah, and, and really it didn't, it made, it didn't cure everything, but it made me feel a lot better. Um, so since then, I mean, this is 20 years ago now, since then um, I have had a number of, um, additional depressive episodes, but each time, some of them have been mild, some of them have been, have been moderate, uh, but each time I've found that I, 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 um, uh, I handle them better and get treated quicker, and sometimes it's uh, therapy, um, I have taken antidepressants, um, and they, I found them, um, some of them worked very well, some of them didn't, um, and a combination of, uh, of both. Um, and really, um, a lot of uh, a lot of the time, you just have to find what's right for you in order to uh, um, in order to treat your, whatever is happening for you. Um, I found the experience of uh, yeah, especially psychotherapy very, very, very positive indeed. Not just for um, curing my depression, but also for learning a lot about myself. Um, I find it so positive, in fact, that I actually started to uh, uh, study to become a, a psychotherapist. Um, unfortunately, I, I did three years, but I, it was a four-year course. But I had to stop because uh, work got in the way and I started travelling a lot with work. Uh, but I would like to go back to it sometime. Um, great, actually. <laughs> right now I'm, I'm, I'm doing really well. Um, I do have um, some episodes that my depression does come back every so often, but it's much, much milder than it used to be. And I'm much, much better at spotting the signs um, these days than I, than I was when I was younger. Um, so I treat it much, you know, I, I get treatment and help much, much faster um, than, I, than I used to. Um, and I actually use the, um, uh, the uh, emptying the dishwasher as a, as a sign if I find that too difficult to do if I'm feeling too much like um, I don't want to do things like that or open my mail then I think oh, okay maybe something's going up going on here um, so uh, so yeah um, the other thing that I really try and do everyone says this about mental health and it's so true is look after my physical health I'm certainly not perfect you know I do eat too much um, especially chocolate uh, but I really try and eat healthily I try and exercise at least three or four times a, a week. I, I go to the gym or I go out on my bike. 
I try to get eight hours sleep every night, not always successfully, but I know that when I'm doing those things, my mental health is so much better than uh, when I'm not. So I, I really try and look after my physical health as much as I can. <laughs> um, well, I've had a few stressful jobs um, and uh, all jobs have an element of stress in them, including the one that I've got right now. I travel a lot or uh, did before the pandemic, which can be quite stressful and, uh, and tiring. Um, and sometimes, you know, there's just jobs uh, because, you know, um, are very stressful and stress can lead to depression. So um, I am just very aware of when I am getting stressed um, about work and, uh, you know, I try and make sure that I limit my, my stress levels um, um, at work. Uh, but also, uh, you know, and I say this to everyone, um, I access the help that, that, um, that's available. MT, especially here in the UK, um, has got an excellent em em uh, employee assistance programme and, and that programme um, has got a lot of mental health um, content. So um, I haven't accessed it yet, but I would absolutely. And I've accessed uh, employee assistance programmes at other companies that I've worked for. So I think, you know, um, I'm aware that work can be stressful and so I'm just careful and uh, you know, make, make sure I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my own mental health. Um, go to your doctor, go to your health professional, um, go to anybody who, um, uh, any professional who can uh, who can give you help. There is so much help available out there and treatments are absolutely fantastic these days. There's a lot of um, new treatments available, um, both psychotherapy and, um, and um, antidepressants and, uh, um, and other treatments as well. Um, so much more so even the, um, than 20 years ago when, when I was first diagnosed. Um, there's absolutely no reason for anyone to have to suffer with a mental health issue just like a physical health issue um, your mental health is very 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 important and i always say this to people it's your responsibility to um, look after your mental health and get treated for it so do not delay would be my uh, best advice to anybody if you have any issues at all please please um, talk to your health professional as, as soon as you can